permutation of a uh, matrices. That is P A B equal to what? L U. So when we say that, what I mean? Let's see how we are going to go about such questions. Hmm. So let's try. Let's start with this. Let's try with this. Let's say we have a matrix A is equal to 0, 2, 3, 2, negative 4, 7, 1, negative 2, 5. So the first thing to do is to obtain your upper triangular matrix. So let's go by obtaining our upper triangular matrix. So to obtain the upper triangular matrix for this, all right. First of all, you can see that we have to try. Since we have the zero here, because we want we want to achieve an upper triangular matrix whereby here will be zero, here will be zero, here will be zero, right? So since we are having a zero here, then we can swap. The row one and the row what? Three. Alright. So let's swap row one interchanging to what? Row three. So that we can get that zero there. So when you swap it, when you swap it, it becomes your first permute. That's your first what? Permutation. So now we can get one negative two five. Then 2, negative 4, 7. Then the first row will, come, will become your third. Alright, so this swap or this interchange brings our P what? 1. Alright, let's continue with it. You will have it. So now, we want to try and make here to be 0, right? So what will you do? You see that at row 2, when you multiply, right, when you multiply 2, by row 1. Will you add or subtract to make it 0? Unless you subtract. Because it's going to be 2 minus 1. 2. That will make it what? 0. Alright. Into new row 2. So we can get 0 here. And what again? We have to also try and get what? 0 there. Alright. So from what we are having now, from what we are having now, Let's find what we are going to get. So we are going to get 1, negative 2, 5. Then, when you do that, you are going to get 0, 0, negative 3. 0, 0, negative 3. Then, the down one will come 0, 2, 3. Alright. I've taught you how to do the substitution in this already. Okay, so here we are here that we have to also try. See, we didn't try to make here zero. It's our attempt to make here zero that made here to be zero, so we don't care. Our idea is that here to be zero, here to be zero, here to be zero. So let's try and make this one to be zero. So we write our rule to be in trying to make here to be zero, you can see that. Alright, so now we are going to try to make here to be what? To zero. So to make here to be zero, you can see that if you add this to this, you will get zero alright. But when you add this, it will change uh, what we have here. So the, this to this will not help us. Also, adding this to this is zero. But adding this to this is not zero. And when you subtract to it's not zero. Okay, and we know that we cannot multiply. We cannot multiply two rows. So what we can only do is to swap the row two and the what? Row three. So we have to do another swap. That is row three. Interchanging to what? Row two. Interchanging to what? Row three. And that brings the second what? Permute. Alright, so we are going to get one negative two five. Yogi. So now here will be 2, 0, zero 2, 3, zero, 0, negative 3. Beautiful. So we have now achieved our what? Upper triangular what? Matrix. Good. So from here, then 
we go and form our matrix for what? P. That is the permit. So the P will be equal to the P1. Sorry? It's going to be the P2 multiplied by the what? The P1. Alright. So that's what we are going to have. Beautiful. Beautiful. So let's see how we are going to come out with it. So first of all, this is what we are going to do. We are going to generate an identity matrix for what? For the original matrix we have. So if the original matrix we have is 3 by 3, then identity matrix for 3 by 3 will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. How are we going to see that? So if this is the identity matrix, then we can apply P2 to it, and at the same time, P1 what? to it. So this is what we are going to do. Alright, so now, the P1, the P1 says that we are to swap row 2 to row 3 and row 3 to row 2. So, that means that the first one will not be affected. But here, you will swap this to this and this to this. So here will be 0, 0, 1. Then, the row 2 will come here. Beautiful. Multiply by, so this P is equal to, that is what I'm generating here. Here is going to be, sorry, P2. The P12 says that we have to swap what? Row 1 to row 3. I have split that part, but you can check it. We swap row 1 to row 3. So that means that. Okay. So the row 1 will be, the row 2 will be okay. But row 3 becomes your what? Row 1. And row 1 becomes what? Row 3. Alright, so now we can now multiply this by this in order to get our what? Our P. Beautiful. Beautiful. So multiplying this by this is also simple. Alright, so now we are now multiplying this by this to achieve uh, what we have. So, when you multiply this by this, you can print it on your calculator and you are going to get 001, 100, 010. So, you can see a pattern, you can see a pattern, you can check, you will see a pattern there. Alright, so that's what it's going to be. The pattern you can see here is that, you can see that from what we have here, from what we have here, the P2. This one will go here. And that's what we have here. This one will come here. And that's what we have here. And then that will be the B2. Alright. If you don't know how to get it, just point your calculator so that you don't go and get it. So now, after getting your P, after getting your P, then you have to obtain the, your lower triangular matrix from your what? Your PA. So after getting the P, you will now go and multiply. After getting your P, you will now go and multiply your P by the what? By the A. To form a new matrix again. Are you getting me? Alright. So now. We know our P is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Then our A, the A is a original matrix given to us in the person. And that is 0, 2, 3, 2, negative 4, 7, 1, negative 2, 5. Alright, so now. When you multiply this by this, then the results you get, you go and obtain another new upper triangular what? matrix. Bear in mind that the first upper triangular matrix we, we had, that one is just helping us to get our permutes. It's helping us to get our permutes. We don't use that, I beg you, don't forget it. 
We don't use that. It's helping us to get the ones that we are going to interchange and that bring the permits in order to get our, our P. So we are now going to multiply the P by the A to get a new matrix. And something is coming here. Let's continue. Alright, so I am doing it on a calculator. So your results is going to be. Alright, so your result is going to be that one to the, the, the is a pattern. One negative two, five. Zero two, three. Two negative four, seven. So you can see that this one is now here. This one is now here. And this one is now here. This one is now here. This one is now here. And this now is now here. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright. So that's how it's going to be. So now, this new matrix you have, you are now going to use it to come out with what? An upper triangular matrix. Alright, let's continue. I'm not tired, let's continue. <laughs> so, 1, negative 2, 5. 0, 2, 3. 2, negative 4, 7. Alright, so now, in coming out with the upper triangular matrix, that means I want to, here is already there, so maybe here is there and here is to be there. So, uh, we can multiply. Uh huh. What to be the rule? Multiply. Okay, so we start with rule three. Then multiply two by rule one. Two by rule one. Yes, and that will make that place to be zero for you. All right. So I put it in new rule three. Good. And when you do that, when you do that, you are going to get one negative two. 5, 0, 2, 3, and then that is going to give you 0, 0, negative 3. Beautiful. So now you have achieved it. So now this becomes your, your upper triangular what? matrix. So somebody will say, ah, but this upper triangular matrix is the same as the other one. Please, you know always that it's going to be the same. So you follow the idea. First of all, from the matrix given you, Find your upper triangular matrix to come out with the what? Your permutes. To get the P1 matrix, multiply the P by the A, come back and take another upper triangular matrix again. Okay? It's not like any big job. Alright. So now, after you getting your upper triangular matrix, then let's go and come out with the, our what? Our lower triangular what? Matrix. So we do focus on the first upper triangular matrix we find we found again. We are not going there again. Now we have our upper triangular matrix. We are going to use the rule and take the inverse to get our lower triangular matrix. So we know the rule to be R3 minus 2 R1. Take it to new R3. Alright, so the inverse is going to give you R3 plus 2 R1 and take it to what? R3. Alright, so you just take the sign. So now, how do you follow me and you are enjoying it? Good! So now, what is going to be our lower triangular matrix? So our lower triangular matrix is going to be so from this then uh, we let the inverse of it affect the identity matrix. Okay. So now our lower triangular matrix is now going to be so now we are going to let this affect it. R3 plus 2 R1. Put it in R3. So that means that your one will uh, repeat. 
know, two to repeat, but mm -hmm. the road will be affected, right? Uh, when you multiply this by that, you are going to get 201. Yes, 201. Because you can see that R3 is 0. Uh, 2 multiplying this, so the 2 will come. Alright, so that's what we are going to get. For the lower triangle means, mm, we are soon ending. So now, we have, uh, we have come out with our B from the pollute. This is giving us already, and LU is also obtained. So we can now conclude that. What should I write it? So we can now conclude. So we can now conclude that. Our BA is going to be equal to the LU. You can try and see. When you multiply, so when you multiply the B and the A, we have 1, negative 2, 5. 0, 2, 3. 2, negative 4, 7. And the lower is 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0. 2, negative 4, hey. <laughs> 2, 0, 1. And the alpha is 1, negative 2, 5. 0, 2, 3. 0, 0, negative 3. Alright, so when you multiply this by this, you are going to get this. And that is the idea of permutation of matrices. Thank you. See you in the other video. Mm. Yeah. Let me give you a question to try. Alright. I have to give you a question to try. I know you are a good student and you will do it. Alright? Now. Try on. Try on. Zero, two, three. 2, negative 4, oh, same question, shoot, oh. Try on 0, 2, 4, 0, 3, 7, 4, 1, 5, and see what you are going to get for that. See you in the next video. Achieve the same thing, bye.